How to edit DaVinci Resolve audio using Audacity. This tutorial will show you how you can edit audio in the video editor DaVinci Resolve using the audio editor Audacity. I am using DaVinci Resolve version 16 and I'm using the audio editor Audacity version 2.4.2. I have DaVinci Resolve opened up at the Edit tab with a video already imported into DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve does have a great audio editor built into DaVinci Resolve known as Fairlight. And you can access the Fairlight audio editor by clicking on this Fairlight tab right here. And it opens up DaVinci Resolve's audio editor. I use Audacity on a regular basis to edit voice audio, which makes it easier for me to also edit my video audio in Audacity rather than editing my audio using Fairlight in DaVinci Resolve. Now I will return to edit by clicking on the Edit tab. If you would like to know more how to edit voice audio just using DaVinci Resolve, I recommend a video entitled Make Your Dialogue Crystal Clear DaVinci Resolve Power Tip on the David Power YouTube channel at the URL shown on this screen. These are the five steps I use to edit DaVinci Resolve audio using Audacity. Step 1. Export audio out of DaVinci Resolve. First, you click on the Deliver tab right here. And then you take this slide bar and drag it until you find audio only. And then click on audio only. And then you'll name your file. Let's just name it original since this is our original audio that we'll be exporting. And then we locate a folder we want to export the audio to. So you can just browse your hard drive and we'll just export it right here to audio. And then make sure audio is selected and video is not selected. So we have audio selected and then we select the format. You want to use WAV format. So click on this drop down arrow, select WAV. I recommend using the same sample rate and bit rate that audio was first recorded in, but don't use less than 48,000 Hertz and 16 bit depth. And if uncertain what to use, I would recommend using 48,000 Hertz sample rate and 24 bit depth. And you want to have right here selected that says render as discrete audio tracks. So you want it one entire audio track rather than having each separate track broke into a separate audio file. And after we do that, we go down here to add to render queue. So we left click here on add to render queue and we'll go over to the right part of the screen and you'll see that it's added this render job to render. And then we click on start render. And it'll take just a few moments and here's our progress bar.
Now, our audio file has been rendered to the audio folder with the file name original.wave. Step 2. Import audio into Audacity. We have Audacity open, and we want to import the audio into Audacity. So we click on File, Import Audio, and this is the folder Audio where we save the file, which we named Original. So let's double click on Original, and it opens up the same audio file that we exported out of DaVinci Resolve. Step 3. Edit audio using Audacity. At this point, you will edit the audio however you'd like to. And I will not demonstrate how to edit the audio in this particular video, but I do have a video entitled Audacity Audio Editing Workflow for Podcast and Video that is a tutorial teaching how I edit audio for podcast and video using Audacity. Step 4. Export edited audio out of Audacity. To export the editor audio out of Audacity, select File, Export, Export as Wave, and then you want to name your file, and I'd suggest that you name it Final because this is after editing. So let's call this file Final, F I N A L. And we save as a WAV file. Save using the same sample rate and audio bit rate you used when exporting from DaVinci Resolve. So this is 24 bit, and you'll see the project rate is 48,000 hertz. So we click on Save. And click on OK. And we have exported our edited audio from Audacity to a file named final.wave. And step five, import edited audio into DaVinci Resolve. Previously, in DaVinci Resolve, we used Deliver to export our audio file to edit in Audacity. Now, let's click on our Edit tab. First, we want to be able to see the entire video file on our screen. And the way we do that, hold down the Shift key and press Z, and that shortcut places the entire video file within view on the same screen. And you want to make sure that your playhead, here's your playhead, you want to make sure that your playhead is at the very beginning of the file. You can press your home key, and that goes to the beginning of the file. If you press your end key, that goes to the end of the file. But to place your playhead at the beginning of the file, press the home key, and now you see our playhead is right here at the beginning of the file. Then go to Media Pool by clicking on Media Pool right here. Right click, select Import Media, and this is the file that we exported out of Audacity, and we named it Final. So let's double left click on Final, 
And now you see the final dot wave file inside the media pool. So we put our cursor over the file, hold down our left mouse button, drag the file over here until we see the selection place on top right here. And then we lift up off of our left mouse button and you see that file now is along the bottom row here. It's the last track of the video file. And you want to make sure that this audio file matches perfectly the same length as the other. So here is the file we just added to our timeline. And this was the file that we originally exported to Audacity. So now let's mute this file. So left click here to mute. And this way, only the audio of the file we just added to the timeline will be heard. And you can actually delete this track if you want to. Not necessary, but if you want to delete that track, just click on the track here, right click, and delete track. Now the old track has been deleted, and we only have the new track. So that is how you import the edited audio into DaVinci Resolve. Please visit our website, optuno.org. That's spelled O P O R T U N O dot O R G for more items that may be of interest to you. Thank you.